you want to talk well, about? Well, Jay, why don't you tell me about uh, 4J and, and when, this, when this whole camp got started and maybe a little bit how it got started and how you yeah. got involved. My name is Jay Laughlin. I'm the oldest of the 4Js. Uh, there's four brothers, Jay, Jimmy, Joey, and Jeff. Uh, we've all been raised on a farm, riding horses, raising cattle. Uh, my family and uh, uh, some other people started this ride down at Van Buren, Missouri in 1968. And uh, we were down there for a few years and we had a, an old farm over the hill over here that was uh, uh, just sitting there. We were using it to run cattle on and stuff. And we had some friends look at it. They said, well, that's where you need to have your trail ride. And so we moved it over there in 72 and built a campground and dining hall, and we were there until 2001. And then in 2002, in the fall of 2002, we built this campground and moved in over here. Okay. So it's just a mile from here to the old campground. And and, and does the trail go back and see some of the old oh, yeah. parts we, of it? And, the old campground's still sitting over there. All that's left is a concrete slab, and, and uh, you can't, I mean, yeah. Our uh, government's got control of it, so it's grown yeah. up in brush, you know. You it, it don't even look like the same place, but, you know, a lot of memories down there on the river. I mean, we ride the same trail system as, as we've ridden for, well, since 1972. Yeah, wow. Now, this year, I heard the camp sold out. And, and how many, from all over the country, North America, how many different well, people are represented? We have, uh, our rides will vary from, oh, 150 people to 350 people. And uh, I think the most states we ever had represented on a ride was 18, but then that's usually when we figure on Sunday night. But I think I figured up here uh, yesterday that we're over 20 states on this ride. No kidding. 20 different states. As far as California, Washington, you know, a lot of the local states, uh, uh, Oklahoma, Illinois, Kansas, you know, we get a lot of people from that area. And, okay. uh, but we've got them from, they're from everywhere. Now, what, what, kind of ride, what kind of riders do you guys accommodate? I mean, can it be... It's all, all like what? What do, be, you, do you have to be on a horse forever and ever to be able to ride these trails? To be honest, we yeah, get a lot yeah. of people to just come down here to eat. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're well, riding I, hot, you know? I, I can account yeah. to that. My mom, my that. mom runs a kitchen back there, you know. But uh, our trails, uh, you can have everything from an intermediate ride or, or you know, beginner ride around the bottom and around a little field over here, or you can, uh, you know, if you want to get rough, we can get rough and go up over one of these bluffs, you know. And uh, we've got all kinds of trails. Uh, you know, nice. everybody accuses me of being a little bit fast, a little bit rough, because that's what I like to ride. And, <laughs> and uh, but uh, you know, I don't ride that fast, but we cover a lot of ground and, and we go see a lot of things. And you know, we, our, our trail system was set up. We had organized rides for a long Looking time, good, Dave. and people would uh, come in and we would ride all day and half day and, and all this. But uh, so we set up our trail morning, system everybody. where we could get to a certain spot at a certain time. And have a truck meet us there to feed us lunch, and, and that's how it all got started. Oh, but right. since we don't do those rides like that anymore, we're not really organized rides. We just ride, and uh, it's an open camp. Uh, we're surrounded by Mark Twain National Forest, and uh, we provide the campground and the stalls and the food, and they come in and ride. Yeah, I noticed, and, and you said your mom, she's she's in the kitchen with with some more. Some more of your family. My, works in my there brother as well? Joey, my brother Joey's helping her back there some this week, and and he also rides. Me and him both ride every there day. There he is. Anybody hey, wants to go with us, we know we just yeah. we're out having a good time, and and uh, you know if our friends want to go with us, they can go. Yeah, I like how well organized it is too. You post the daily schedule every day. We what, have what, what, every what, day. The, yeah. what the child times are and. What the, what the campers can expect as far as when the, when the sewage is coming, sure. when the haze, when the feeds come in. Yeah, we try to keep them informed. I mean, we have uh, we have events that happen throughout the week that are, are events necessary in order to have a campground. But but uh, then we have fun events, and you know we had a live band last night. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah. We usually that. do that a couple nights a week and and have dancing and a live band. And then uh, we have uh, on Sunday afternoon we did a horse show, a little fun show. And we had about 25 or 30 people hey, down there with their horses. And, and, you know, we have little, uh, we have gaming events and we have pleasure classes and How you doing? something for everybody, you know. And uh, during the summer with the kids, the horse show's a big thing because the kids like yeah. to come in horse show. And most of them don't do that at home. I mean, you know, it's something sure. new for them, you know. And, and then uh, we do that on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday we have the band. And then on uh, Wednesday night, we have a little tack sale, which is tonight. And we'll sell our new tack out of the tack room here. 
And then on uh, Thursday, we don't have a lot going on, but Thursday evening we have a birthday and anniversary party. Anybody that's got a birthday or anniversary this month signs up on our sheet. My oh, mom makes nice. a great big cake, and she decorates the cake, puts everybody's name on it. Oh, that's and nice. And then we have uh, cake and ice cream, and then when we get done, we have a bingo. Yeah. There you go. And, uh, that sounds like kind a good of time. Easy country fun, kind, you know. Kind of, kind of winding it down after all that fun with those bands earlier. Yeah. Okay. But then, new, you know, also uh, other rides, uh, just like uh, this last ride, we had a big group from Indianapolis here, and we did a benefit for a bunch of kids that are out in Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona, and they sent them to a dude ranch camp kind of a deal and uh, for a week and uh, I think they said it cost $150 a kid just through one of these kids morning, and, and the ranch partnered with them with this group called the Wild Bunch and they split it 50-50 and so 75 and 75 from each group How you guys doing? and we had a little oh, yeah. benefit Still deal and uh, country music singer Chris Jansen that's out big right now he has uh, got some big hits and he's doing real well he was raised down here as a kid they lived in no South kid? Missouri. They lived in South Missouri, and his mom and dad still comes in here every year, at least once or twice, and they ride with us. And uh, Chris hadn't been down for a few years, but uh, he's busy with his career and getting things going. Sure. Sure. Anyway, he donated some items, and then other people in camp donated items. And when we got down, we raised right at eight thousand dollars for this benefit. Oh wow! Yeah, about about an hour down there at the deal. I got a guitar, brought thirteen hundred fifty dollars, signed by him, and you know, like I said, he's just starting out, but you know, if he makes it big. Some of that stuff they got will be worth a lot of money. The community you know? really came together quickly on that one. Oh, that's man, awesome. I, I mean, the people, down here, the people down here didn't even know about it until it happened that day. Wow. You know, and I mean, we, we've had it last year and the year before, but that's you know, just kind of some of the things we do. And then we got done uh, having the auction and, and selling that stuff. We turned around, and uh, we had a cornhole tournament. There you go. And everybody played cornhole yeah, down there that night. Of, and all, you know, everybody throwed $5 in the hat, and... Uh, we didn't allow teams to enter. We Everybody enters individually, and we draw them out, and that way it's a social event. You get to play with somebody different. I like it. So every ride we mix it up, we'll have something different. Like Chuck says, he's been down three or four times this year, and, and uh, you know, we have something different. Every ride's got different dynamics to it. Yeah, you said three four Howdy. times. What, what's the what's the yearly Hello. schedule for? We have six seven-day rides. Hello. Have, or six six-day rides. Six six, 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 six day rides, day rides okay. yeah. If you move the camp, maybe you move the <laughs> we tried that once. <laughs> but no, uh, we have a lot, like I said, we have a lot of fun, and uh, there's always something going on, you know, and you know, being raised down here with, with all these people, and I, I tell them all, all the time, I said, you know, it started off as a group of family and friends getting together and having a good time, and I look around and see all my friends and see all the people that are here, and it's still a group of family and friends getting together and having a good time, and uh, that's what makes it fun. You know, I've got four kids, and they're all named Jay, and, and uh, you know, i got Joel, Jason, Jordan, and Jesse, and then i got a granddaughter, Gentry, and I'm hoping that Gentry gets to be raised down here just like my kids were, you know. Oh, but it's a great, great place to grow up. So, well, well, listen, Jay, I appreciate it. Yeah. That was that was <laughs> a lot of excellent information. And yeah. Yeah. Where, where if people want to learn more about uh, maybe how they could get a reservation or, or maybe... We have a website, you know, www.4-j.net, I think that's how it's set up. And then they got the calendar of events it's there. It's got our calendar, it's got our, our schedule, it'll have, you know, like next year uh, we are scheduled up and we're going to have a, a mule ride. Okay. And uh, we're going to have it in cooperation with our trail ride, with our, with our, our camp. And we got a lot of people that are coming in, just, you know, that are, that are riding horses. But uh, they're talking yeah. like we could have 300 mules down here. Wow. And uh, that'll be pretty cool, you know, pretty impressive. And the mule people, they like to get out and brush and ride, you know. I'm sure there'll be some of them that just want to go on, on beginner rides. But, you know, there's going to be a lot of them that's going to want to get out and, and uh, go ride. It'll, it'll be a lot of fun. But first time we've ever done anything like that, so it'll be cool. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Jay. No problem, no problem. You got a busy day, now get back to it. Yeah, got to get back to work. <laughs>